Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel Sharmi's Blackboard. I hope everyone is doing great and you are having a great time at home and also I hope you are all safe at home. So before moving into the class, I'm here to share you a very few points about uh, how to protect yourself from this uh, dangerous virus called Corona. The first and very worst point is protect yourself by using a sanitizer. So please don't forget to sanitize your hands. So sanitize your hands on a regular basis so that it will remove the germs and bacteria from your hands. And the second thing is maintain social distance. The third one is that we are a double layer mask in case if you are uh, stepping out of your home for certain emergency conditions, okay? And also the very, very most important point is that vaccinate yourself. So. Uh, the only way to break this chain of corona is vaccinating ourselves. So please take your turn of vaccine to break this chain of corona. Okay, so now with this positive energy, let's move into the today's topic. So today's topic is nothing but it's about electromagnetism. Okay, so this topic is from the 10th science book of NCRT syllabus. And this is the chapter in that book. And uh, this uh, particular topic is one topic under that lesson. Okay. So electromagnetism. So electromagnetism is a very, very interesting and is also a very important topic in the NCRT syllabus. So let's uh, learn about that interesting topic now. So the first one is introduction about electromagnetism. So electromagnetism. So from the name itself, you can understand that electricity and magnetism so both these phenomena combine together to produce the concept of electromagnetism so electricity uh, phenomenon or electricity concept is dependent upon uh, magnetism same way magnetism is dependent upon the electricity so all these together combine to give you the concept of electromagnetism so the first topic is magnetic effects of electric current. So magnetic effects of electric current is nothing but what are the magnetic effects which an electric current could produce with the help of a magnetic field. So that's what we are going to learn in detail in this topic. Okay. So when you are applying uh, electric field to a particular object, what are the magnetic effects that the object could produce by acquiring the electricity? So that's what we are going to learn. And this concept was proposed by a scientist who have uh, lived in the 19th century. And the scientist is none other than Hans Christian Oersted. Okay, so that's the name of the scientist. And his time period is from 1777 to 1851. So this is the lifetime uh, period of this particular scientist who lived in the 19th century and he have um, played a very important role in the development of the electromagnetism. Actually, this discovery of electromagnetism is actually an accident. Okay, so this scientist, uh, what he have did is, uh, I'll, I'll explain you a small incident so that this concept and this invention could be uh, clearer, uh, if it will be in a clearer view. Okay, so what the scientist did is he have placed a small copper wire uh, near a compass. Okay, so near a compass needle, he have placed a small copper wire and he have passed the electricity through the copper wire. So what happened in that time is when the electric current started to move through this copper wire, this compass needle started to get deflected. Okay, it began to get deflected by itself. So what he have discovered from this whole event is that when an electric current is passed through a particular object, surely there will be a magnetic field produced around it. Okay. For example, now if you are taking a copper wire and if you are passing the electric current through it, there will be a magnetic field created around this particular wire. Okay. There will be a magnetic field created about the particular object through which the electricity is passed. Okay. So this is the concept of electromagnetism. So that's what I have given you here in letters. So the concept was discovered by Hans Christian Oersted and his time period is from 1777 to 1851 and he belonged to the 19th century. So he had developed the concept of electromagnetism and also this particular incident. Okay, so the incident through which he have uh, discovered the electromagnetism happened in the year of 1820. Okay, in the year of 1820, this particular incident happened and from that incident only, he had developed the electromagnetism. Okay, I think it's clear for you. 
So I have uh, explained this activity in a simple words. When an electric current passes through the metallic wire placed nearby, there will be a deflection in the compass needle. Okay, so if you are pa passing the electric current through the metallic copper wire, it could be anything. So like copper or any kind of metal. So if you are uh, going to pass the electric current through the copper wire, there will be a deflection in the compass needle which is placed nearby. Okay, that's what I'm trying to tell you. And also he have mentioned, he have insisted that electricity and magnetism are both are related concepts. So electricity depends upon the magnetism as well as magnetism depends upon the electricity. Okay. So these are the points which the scientist told, told us through the concept of electromagnetism with the basis of his experiment of passing the electricity through the copper wire. Okay. Come let's move on to the next point. So now we are going to learn about this concept that is the magnetic effect due to the electric current with the help of a diagram. So I'm going to illustrate that concept with the help of a diagram. So diagrammatic representation of this uh, particular concept which we have discussed earlier. So for this we are going to take an electric circuit and we are going to connect this electric circuit with the help of a copper wire. So first let me explain what are all the components which are included in the electric circuit and then I'll explain you the concept and as well as the procedures, okay? So first one, this is the key, okay? This is the key along with the plug. So only if you insert the plug in this key, the electric current will pass, okay? Will pass through the circuit, okay? Then in the circuit, you are going to attach a copper wire, okay? This particular segment, it represents the copper wire, okay? So this is the north end and this is the south end. So that's what I have represented here. So north represents the north end of the copper wire. That is the thin copper wire which is attached to the circuit. And here south, this word represents the south end of the copper wire which is connected to the circuit. So, and also an important component to explain this concept is the compass needle. Okay, usually the compass needle uh, should be placed near this copper wire. Okay, so only if the uh, placement is like that, it could detect the magnetic field which is being produced around this particular copper wire. Okay, if it is far away from the object, it could not detect accurately what are the changes which are being occurring during the experiment. It will not be possible for the compass needle to detect the changes very accurately. Okay, so that's the uh, that's the thing for which we are going to place this compass needle near the copper wire. Okay, so we, are, we have placed the compass needle near the copper wire. Or we can place this compass needle over the copper wire. So here we have connected this copper wire towards the circuit and we have placed this compass needle over the copper wire. Okay, so this compass needle will have four directions. The needle will usually point the north and south direction. Okay, it will be pointing towards the north and south direction. Now we are going to learn what are the changes which will happen in the compass needle when the current is passed through the circuit, okay? So first one, what you're going to do is, we are going to plug in the key, okay? If you plug in the key, what happens? The current will start to pass through the circuit, okay? This copper wire is inserted or attached within the circuit. So in this copper wire also, the current will start to pass, okay? It will start to move from one end of the copper wire through the another end. So what does it change is that if the current passes from north end of the copper wire towards the south end of the copper wire, what happens is there will be a deflection in the copper needle. Of course, whatever the direction the current is flowing, it will decide the deflection of the compass needle. So in case if the current is flowing from the north end towards the south end, what happens is the deflection will take place in the east direction, okay? So that particular needle, so needle will be in this direction. And what happens is this needle will slightly move towards, it will get deflected towards the east side, okay? So if the compass needle is getting deflected towards the east side, then it indicates that the current is flowing from the north end of the copper wire towards the south end of the copper wire, okay? In case, the second case is that if the current is being flown from south end to the north end, what happens is the deflection will be in the opposite direction. That is the deflection will be towards the west direction. If it is from north to south, 
that is if the electric current passes from the north end of the copper wire towards the south end then there will be an east deflection and same way if the current passes from the south end of the copper wire towards the north end the deflection towards will be towards the west side okay so from this deflection we could identify what is the direction of the current which is being flown in the copper wire okay i hope today's class is very interesting and informative for you i hope uh, everyone understood this if you have any doubts please uh, don't forget to comment below and please like share and subscribe to my channel meet you in next interesting video till then take care